1972 Riviera. It was the gentleman's hot rod. We were going to take it to SEMA and show it off. With 10.5 invested in the car and $300,000 budget in only five months to do it, it was definitely the most ambitious build ever. As a matter of fact, it was one that if we pulled off, I was even going to be impressed. But obviously, we didn't. We had an idea of all the different body mods we were going to do, including chopping the top, et cetera, and so forth. But we had to pull out some of the big guns to get some of the parts that we needed. To get this 1972 Buick Riviera the supercar status that it deserves, it took a ton of metal work. To make this thing look like a badass supercar, we chopped the top. Just a little rake in the front to get rid of the way it was leaning uphill, brought everything down a little slicker, a little faster. Then we went to Budnick wheels. They're super massive. We've got 20s up front, 22s in the rear. And to house those things, we built some wicked awesome tubs. They're super clean. What more could you ask for? How about a full independent suspension from Chris Allison Chassis Works, front and rear independent? For the rear end housing, we went with Fab 9. For the shocks, obviously, we went with Ferris shocks and quick performance for our complete third member. Top it all off, we got some huge diffusers for that supercar look to get the air out from underneath this bad boy. Man, what a badass stance. When you're building a car of this caliber, paint and body is just as important as everything else. We've already had the car sandblasted, and the guys are already done with their metalwork. As pretty as it will be fully dressed with a super paint job, we decided to let everyone see under the clothes and reveal all that badass custom fat work. Eventually, we'll have the time to get this car painted the battleship gray that we've all picked out. We all love the color, and it's going to look great when it's set in the scene. When we set out to turn our 1972 Riviera into a supercar, we knew we needed a power plant that was worthy of the jobs. We called our friends at K-Tech, and they hooked us up with this one-of-a-kind Generation 5 LT4 engine paired with a Magnuson supercharger. This thing is 1,000 horsepower and puts out 1,000 pounds of torque on top of that. Talk about making a statement, that's exactly what they did. And that paired with our Ron Davis radiator to keep everything cool, that's exactly what it's going to be at SEMA. You know how we like to stop? It's Wheelwood brakes, cylinder kit, and brakes. We put in the super comfy Recaro racing seats, and eventually vintage air AC. Ambitious project? Absolutely. Bitchin' project? Absolutely. Going to SEMA? Yes, but under construction. But I don't mind. This car is going to be badass. Watch for it. Look out, SEMA. Here we come.